Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a Will I Buy It video on the new Pat McGrath Heart's Desire collection. And in today's video, I'm going to explain to you why for the first time in the past probably three years, this is a Pat McGrath release that I do not intend on buying. I feel like these are major words because I have been a Pat McGrath stand forever. Ever since I had the money to start purchasing her palettes, I fell in love with them. And you guys know every time I buy everything, I review it, I show you looks, etc. But this year's, I guess this would be like a Valentine's Day collection. This year's Pat McGrath's Valentine's Day collection, I am not too interested in. With that said, I do still think I might get like a lipstick, maybe. We'll discuss it in this video, but I am certain that I will not be buying the eyeshadow quad and I'm also not interested in the highlighter and in today's video I will explain exactly why. So if you're excited, don't forget to please give this video a thumbs up and let's just go ahead and get started. So on January 18th, this collection is releasing and I will leave you the link down below in the description box to where you can see all of the swatches, all of the pictures and everything that Pat McGrath has shown us so far. I'm going to go through the images of everything with you and I'll tell you what I like and what I dislike about this collection. And the collection consists basically, let me scoot over this way, of an eyeshadow quad. It is called the Darling Desire Eyeshadow Quad, which is going to retail for $56. I was actually excited to see like a purple in there. Then I realized there's also a pink next to it and I was a bit more turned off about it. But then I was sent some information afterwards that I'll discuss with you guys in a second that completely turned me off from buying this eyeshadow quad. Besides the eyeshadow quad, we do have two new lipsticks, um, different depths of nude, both of which look beautiful and they have a fantastic, beautiful embossing. We have Nude Nocturne and we have the shade Honey Haze. Based on very quick research, I do think that both of these shades are new to the brand and honestly, both of them look really beautiful to me. Here's the lip swatch of Honey Haze. I do wish it was a bit more cool toned rather than this peachy color. I'm not as much of a fan of peach, but it looks beautiful nonetheless. In this other picture, it does look a lot more cool toned, so I'm divided on whether or not I want to go for the lipstick. My favorite detail is for sure the beautiful embossing, but then that's inside the case and you only see it when you put it on, so I don't know. I think I actually like the darker shade more than the lighter shade. Nude Nocturne looks beautiful both in the individual like close-up swatch, I love that shade. I feel like that is the one thing I am most likely to pick up from this collection, this particular shade of the lipstick, Nude Nocturne. It's described as a terracotta rose with a natural matte finish. And then on the other swatches, it looks beautiful on every single skin tone. So Nude Nocturne so far is the winner for me. And then the third product that is coming out as part of this collection is this Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Highlighter, which also has a beautiful embossing and the shade is called Nude Opal. While the color of this one looks absolutely beautiful, I do have other similar highlighters from Pat McGrath in my collection that I am honestly barely reaching for as of late. I just haven't been into highlighter as much. This one's definitely a very different color. Let me get the other ones. <laughs> okay, here, this one looks a bit more pink, a little bit more champagne than Nude Opal, but it's a beautiful light color as well. And again, one that I haven't been reaching for at all. And then this one here is the one that looks most similar. This one is called Incandescent Gold 002, which out of my Pat McGrath highlighters that come in this type of packaging, this shade right here is my favorite. And here's what it looks like. I don't see this shade being too different from what Nude Opal looks like. And so for that reason, because I already have something similar that I'm not even reaching for as of lately, um, I decided against buying the highlighter as well. Again, so far, the only thing I might maybe pick up is the darker of the two nude lipsticks. Now, I want to go back to 
the Daring Desire Quad and I want to talk about exactly why I'm not buying it. You guys know I love Pat McGrath eyeshadow formulas. It is one of my favorite brands and one of my favorite formulas to work with and I'm also quite a big fan of her eyeshadow quads. Now this eyeshadow quad looks quite different from anything she's launched before because the packaging is not that beautiful luxurious hard plastic packaging that we're accustomed to. She's actually releasing an eyeshadow quad in cardboard packaging which is very different from Pat McGrath. We've seen eyeshadow palettes like six shade palettes and also her quince come out in the past with the cardboard packaging. We've never seen a quad come out with the cardboard packaging. Worth noting that the quad, even though the packaging is definitely not as beautiful or luxurious as we're used to, is still $56. It's still pretty pricey for an eyeshadow quad from Pat McGrath and she's not giving us the luxurious packaging. She switched it to cardboard, which is definitely very disappointing. I am also not a huge fan of the outside packaging of this. I'm not a huge fan of red in general and I feel like it looks super like in your face and then that very contrasting blue rose in the middle. To me, it honestly looks a bit on the tacky side if we're honest. But then, the main thing is once you switch to looking at the swatches of this eyeshadow quad, it has three beautiful colorful shades and then it has the highlighting shade for like the inner corner of your eye that she usually puts in majority of her palettes. If you have a large Pat McGrath collection, you know each and every one of her palettes has a different version of this highlighting shade. Every Mothership palette has a highlighting shade. Um, most of her quads have a highlighting shade. It's very common for her to do this. Usually I tell you I appreciate the highlighting shade because it's always needed. I do always go for it. I do always use it. However, my issue with this one in particular and it's not the highlighter I have an issue with. <laughs> My issue with this color story in particular is that the highlighting shade, which is again very common throughout Pat McGrath palettes, is the only new shade you will find in this eyeshadow quad. That pink shade, Star Garnet, is an already existing shade. The beautiful purple shade called Amethyst Noir is an already existing shade. And Daring Desire, the beautiful kind of burgundy brown looking matte shade is also an already existing shade. So, I mean, what's a huge letdown, honestly. I am very, very disappointed. If you purchased this holiday palette right here, this one is called Jewel Temptation. It's the darker of the two palettes from the holiday collection. If you have this in your collection, you do already have three out of the four shades from the new eyeshadow quad. And if you wanna add even more disappointment to the whole thing, <laughs> um, this eyeshadow palette is not one of her made in Italy eyeshadow palettes. This is made in the US, assembled in the Dominican Republic, I believe. And the formulas of the eyeshadows in this particular palette are not the best. I'm willing to bet that given the fact that the shades are already existing and that she switched the packaging from plastic to cardboard, this new eyeshadow quad is also going to be made in the US, assembled in the Dominican Republic. This is not going to be her Italian glorious, beautiful formula. I can absolutely work with these shades, but it's not the same experience at all as working with her Italian formula. And it's not like she's giving us a discount, right? Let me go ahead and swatch the three shades for you. So the first one is Star Garnet right here. This one is part of the new quad. Next, Amethyst Noir right here. This is the purple in the new quad. And then Daring Desire here is the third shade, which looks kind of burgundy in the swatches of the quad, but it's more so just kind of a mid to dark tone brown shade. So let me go ahead and swatch these for you right here. There they are. Those are the three shades that are already existing from the new eyeshadow quad. And again, the fourth shade is a highlighting shade, which if you have 
more than one Pat McGrath palette, you already have something very similar to it in your collection because she puts them in every single palette. With all of that said, with all of that out of the way, I hope that you guys can understand my disappointment when it comes to this new Pat McGrath collection. I feel like unfortunately her brand has continued down a path that I don't love and I really want her to pick it back up. I really want her to come out with new innovative products that we are more excited about because this collection is definitely a new low for me. I was already disappointed on the holiday palettes and the fact that she didn't give us one big palette that she felt the need to do blushes with eyeshadows at the same time but then she comes out with a not new collection for Valentine's Day, you know? And the eyeshadow quad, again, cardboard packaging, already existing shades and still $56. When she was having her holiday discounts, her holiday palettes were discounted and I'm pretty sure you could get this whole thing which has not just four shades but quite a few more plus blushes for less than what the quad is going to be worth when it comes out. So to sum it all up, I am very disappointed. I will not be purchasing the eyeshadow palette. I will not be purchasing the highlighter. And so the lipsticks are the only thing that I am semi-interested in. I cannot wait to hear what you guys have to say down in the comments section below. Let me know your thoughts on this not new Pat McGrath quad in this Valentine's Day collection. Personally, I am very disappointed and I really truly do hope that she comes back with more new and innovative things in the future because I truly want to love and support her brand because I truly do enjoy her formulas but I have enjoyed the quality that she has given us in the past a lot more than what she's been coming out with as of late. If you guys like this video and you found it interesting, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up. Before you leave, if you're new to my channel, please don't leave without subscribing. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you back in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Also, I wanted to thank those of you who messaged me on Instagram um, and told me that the shades were already existing because up to that point, I hadn't honestly paid much attention and I hadn't realized and so... Um, your messages definitely inspired this video. <laughs>